and OJ. The boss is approaching. What is up, guys? It's Soul Bash. We are back, and this is a brand new game from Kick9. It is called Warriors of Glory. It's an awesome RPG, very fluid. And this is actually one of the things that I have not beat yet. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can beat it. Got him interrupted there. Uh, I'm playing an assassin. Uh, there are three different characters. You have the warrior, you have the assassin, and you have a mage. All three, of course, have specific abilities that they can use. And they all use different spells accordingly to which ones you choose. As you level up, you get different abilities that you can use and it does get very difficult as it goes uh you actually have to use skill and uh it's it's really tough as far as this guy here i've not beat him yet uh, i'm currently at the level to where i need to beat him uh but it's just something i need to work on as you can see i'm working on the bar right there right below it after that bar is down he receives an extra 30 percent damage and i pretty much am able to interrupt everything that he does so uh he's got me cornered you do have a dash ability on every character so you're able to move out of the way um i'm gonna try to stun him here he jumped back out of the way so this is not looking too good i'm already below way half health and he is just he's got a lot of hit points these things are very very tough and i do want to thank kick nine for sponsoring this video uh we're gonna get out of this fight and i'm gonna show you some other things about this game that are pretty cool all right, so along with everything that goes with this game, there are awesome events that goes on every day. Uh, just for being online, you get different chests, you can open up, get gold, different things that helps you further level your character and progress everything you have. You also have daily sign-in rewards, weekly login rewards. They do double dungeon drops and elite drops pretty much on a weekly basis from what I've seen so far. Uh, the game just came out uh, about a week ago. Uh, let's see, you get advanced chests and legendary chests. You can get these daily as well. Um, some pretty cool rewards come out of them. Mithril ore, some stuff I'm going to need later. And as far as diamonds, I have never been really constricted by needing diamonds to progress in anything. Uh, they actually come fairly quick. You have your social area where you get your mail every day. And just for being ranked in the arena, you get a set amount of diamonds and gold every day, which is pretty nice. On top of that, you use energy um, and stamina. There's a lot of different things. Uh, you can actually, instead of if you don't have the pills, you can use, I believe it's 30 diamonds and you get 100 more energy. So it's fairly cost effective. Uh, you see World Boss, it lets you know when things are coming. Uh, this is the cool thing about it too. You have daily events. Check this out. You have Team Dungeon, Solo Arena, Tower of Oblivion, which is a progression tower, Monster Hunting, Fire Dancing, Guardian, and that's just on the dailies. Look at the time limited stuff though. This is the fa my favorite part of this game. Everything is later in the evening. I'm not forced to be online at a certain time throughout the day just to catch a specific event. All of the events are pretty much run around the same time, which is a great thing because it's in the evening time for the American people, which are in the United States. And you don't have to be forced to play 24 seven just to hope to catch these events daily. You can catch them pretty much every day now they have mining and they have other things as well and things get added daily you have event points that you can get from doing these and you can collect chests all the way up to there and it's just a very rewarding game uh world boss is going on now so i will actually jump in here uh this is bulldozer see they have different tiers for world bosses so you're not actually all fighting the same world boss it goes by levels so the higher level you get from 37 to 42, you'll fight that one and so on and so on. So it's pretty unique there. We're going to try to enter the challenge and see how this plays out. And I'll explain the world boss to you. All right. So here's the world boss. As you see me saying, waiting for other players to enter. And if you can tell these guys are red. So not only are you going to be fighting the boss, you actually are fighting three other people. So if you work together, you can kill the boss. But if you have people that are just going to try to kill you, that's all they're gonna do. 
and I'm just gonna jump in and stun everything right there. And my objective is to pretty much stay away from everybody because I am a melee character and assassin. So I'm gonna try to use what ranged abilities I do have. And looks like they're just killing each other. Yeah, they're just trying to kill each other. So this is a very unique aspect for a boss. I mean, look, you actually have to worry about other people and if they're going to kill you or not. And the guys do hit pretty hard. This thing hits pretty hard. I miss with that stun right there, but this is a very unique and fun aspect of the game, especially for a war boss. And we do have it down to half health. Uh, that guy right there, he's got one hit before he dies. And we're about half health myself. We're gonna hit him, gonna get a stun in on him. And no, I did not wanna attack that person. Okay, we have aggro on him now. And it looks like everybody except for one other person is dead. And that person right there actually knows what's going on with the boss. You know, they're not actually trying to attack me. They're actually attacking the boss. So there's a lot of strategy involved in trying to defeat this boss as you get up. You see, you can't, you have to be very careful or you're going to kill other people and you're going to reduce your chances of killing the boss. So we're going to do some range damage and I'm going to jump in and stun him. And I'm going to do some damage on him on the backside while he's got aggro from the other chick. And I've only got 3,200 health left. So one hit and I die pretty much from this guy. You see he's charging at me. Uh, the mage is still up, but looks like, yes, they're about dead as well. And they killed me just for the fact of they're not going to be able to kill it themselves. This is what you've got to contend with. Doing a world boss is really fun, really unique. I do enjoy this aspect of the game. All right. Other than that, there is a lot to cover with this game. Uh, we did start a guild. We have the bash army, which is currently full. I need to go through and free up some space for some members that aren't as active but if you are interested in joining the guild we will have some spots open very soon as i will be playing this quite a bit i want to thank you guys so much for watching this and also want to thank kick nine again for sponsoring this video if you guys have any questions about this game leave them in the comment section below as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day Am I a wizard wielding the power of the elements? Fire is my sword, ice my shield, but you melting quick. Or an assassin faster than rappers attacking with daggers. Never see me coming from the shadow. I just slash in half your body. I'm a barbarian and carrying these man fists. With strength the ancients granted. Now I'm taking all your damage. Clear stages of these bandits. Any monster till they vanish. Uh.